Hello. It's good to see you. Today I have a storage box, I guess, full of polymer clay figurines that I've made throughout, I think the oldest are like from 2019. And then it's all the way to like 2020 or 21. I'm not sure when I stopped making them. I, I haven't completely stopped making polymer clay figurines, right? I just don't make these small ones anymore and I don't make as many anymore because I simply do not have the time for it. But I've put them all in the box. Some of them are really crappy. Some of them are not finished. Uh, but many of them are finished. And some of the finished ones are not really that bad, actually. So yeah. Just gonna put this to the side. And we're gonna take a look one by one. Um. Uh. I love making um, these figurines, so I have to pull it f a bit more to the front. I love making these figurines. And it's just full to the brim. Some of them are a little bit dusty, I think, but whatever. Oh, let's start with the slug. This is the little slug. He's underneath some um, fall foliage, some fallen leaves, and he has like these little sticky eyeballs, like eyeballs on a stick, and he's just painted brown. I think he's from 2020? Or something, I'm not sure. But he's of the new, new, one of the new ones. Then let's take a look for an old one, shall we? I think this little tree stump should be one of the first I've made because I just bought some brown polymer clay in the beginning. Because I wanted to make a wand for a friend's birthday, but I did make the wand, I just never ended up um, giving it away as a present, because I didn't like it. But this tree stump should be quite old, as well as... Let me get to it. This little bird. He has some grey clay. Oh, he's a bit dusty. <laughs> he has some grey clay as well, so he's a little bit older, uh, a little bit newer than the tree stump. But, yes. This tiny little bird is also quite old, but I think he's relatively cute. Then, the next stage was I bought some coloured clay and made a little whale. Yeah, he's he's very cute, I think. And I've also bought some accessories that I could hang it up, but I never did because it constantly fell off. I also made a lot of gifts during that time, so I don't have many of them anymore. Gave them away. But that was the next step, and the step after that one was, I think I started to make dragons, but I'm not sure which one is the old, oh look, it's another old one, it's a little pug, oh he's cute isn't he, so cute. But, ah, mm, yes, of course. Oh, 
sorry, that was a bit loud. Um, this one is the oldest dragon I have. He's also quite dusty, so let's give him a bit of a dusting. They were on a shelf for quite some time before I just tossed them inside of that storage thing and I did not clean them off. But you really have to get in there with a brush. Okay, now he's relatively clean. And I put some glitter stones on there. You do not bake the clay with the stone inside, of course. Because it would probably melt. Yeah. Uh, he's the first one, the first of many. And I like him. I watched a tutorial on how to make dragons in order to make him. And I quickly found out that I'm actually rather good at making dragons. So of course I ended up making tons and tons of dragons. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, that was the first prototype of a octopus. I don't know, I never counted the legs, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, it is eight. It's an octopus. But this was the first try. It was made in ah 2019, so around the same time, I think. And this one. Wait. Did I start in 2018 then? I'm not sure actually. Might have started in 2018 instead of 2019. But this is a very stylized octopus, I guess. He's very sharp. Like, his legs are really, really sharp. <laughs> but I do have another one. Um, I just need to find him. He looks a lot, lot, lot better. There he is. Look at him. Isn't he so cute? He sounds a little bit dusty, but this is the second one. And I think he looks much better. He's still a bit sharp at some places, but <laughs> I think he's so cute. He looks a bit yellow on the camera right now. He is a 10, usually a little bit orange 10 color. Not yellow at all. Yeah, he's also a lot smaller Then I think the next dragon should be this one Yeah, I think that sounds about right. Oh no, wait Oh, they're all so dusty This one is the next dragon So sorry about that. Oh lord have mercy you are so dusty, you little duster. Oh, the dust is not coming off. Wait. Hmm. You can see back then I did not glaze all of my pieces. So there's just dust sticking to it everywhere. But anyway, this is the second dragon I've made. It's very similar to the first one. Um, I did sign this one actually. I did not sign all of my pieces because like, why should I? <laughs> you sign paintings but not really sculptures that you just have lying around in your house anyway. But yes, this green and red dragon with the little, what 
Schweizer kommt. Genau, Colors, right? A dog color. Yeah, I think he's rather cute. And then the next one is this one. And I think this one should, except for this one, be the biggest. Oh, he's dusty too. Give me a sec. Now, he's the first water dragon I've made. And you can see I did, like, the fins are glazed with a nail polish, actually. They have glittery nail polish on them. And here, um, this was the first one where I had a little glass marble, like half marble inserted. What are they called? They have a name. They have a special name, like this half fierce, fierce. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. But anyway, they have a special name. was something that sounded like aubergine but I'm not sure could be completely wrong but anyway that was the next one or this might have been before the other one yeah yeah he looks old oh he's very very dusty crusty smusty oh oh I'm sorry I didn't realize just how dusty they were when I first like looked at the box but he's purple with like yellow horns and he has nice nostrils than the other ones i think like his nostrils are pronounced yeah i like him a lot i think he's very cute and he also has those glitter eyes i love them loved him so much I should maybe start making tiny dragons again. I love doing that. But I stopped. Yeah, I did. Oh, I have another old one. Look at that. It's a tiny bunny-like creature with golden ears and a golden bun. This one is also ancient, obviously. Then I've got... Two of the same kind, actually. They're little books with tridents on them. I've made this one first and then that one after. And they're like supposed to be little um, Percy Jackson keychains. Never used them in my life because, again, they tend to come off of their metal rod. But I think I improved, like, a lot between the first and the second book that I made. Because here you can see it's very... Well, it doesn't really look like a book, and this one kind of does. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. And they've also been sealed. As well as all the other supposed keychains. Here's another keychain. Uh, Jane. It's a little green snake with um, golden eyes and uh, carbojon. Oh. oh, I almost had it. Carbojon. Mm. Well, the half pearl thingy here made of glass. I think it's something close to cover or something I don't know and then I also had these little horses two of them I think I made more I just gave them away this one kind of looks like rarity and this one is a lot bigger this one I've made first and this I've made afterwards sometime 
They are tiny little horses. I love them. I think they're very cute. Well, these this one is actually not as tiny, but this one is definitely tiny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I've made like a series where I've tried to like through fall and winter make some little thingies like this fox. Also with like a cobblestone. Oh, I don't know what they're called again. They're called something like that, but not like that at all. <laughs> Very dusty as well. I should have dusted them there before. Did not realize how dusty they were. I really like this one. I think it's very cute. But it's not signed. I don't know the date when I made it. I think I posted it on Instagram. Maybe it was also 2019 or 20. I'm not sure. But I don't think it was 2020. Because 20 was during Corona. I don't know. I don't remember. And then I've also made like this little creepy looking thing for Halloween. Actually, I've made quite a bit for Halloween. I've made this one and this tiny little monstrosity. Very, very cute and adorable. With like all these little polka dots. I think it looks kind of like a shy guy, but like with a hockey mask. What else did I make for Halloween specifically? This ghost. Made this ghost. He lost here. Yeah, you can see the hole where he has lost his like keychain attachment thingy. And also, ah, here it is. There's a little mummy. It's a cyclops mummy. I love him. I think he's very cute. He does not have legs. He does not need to have legs. He's a mummy. The fact that he has arms is already more than most other mummies do. <laughs> Though they still have the limbs attached most of the time, but like when you are a mummy, there's like a good chance that your limbs will fall off because they dry up, you know? Anyway, and then for fall, I've also made this dragon. And this is my favorite of those little dragons. Like, he's made to have like branches like attachments, and he has all of those leaves. All of those tiny leaves and some gold accents. And he's got little tippy toes. Little cat toes. Love it. I think quite a few of my newer ones have these little toes. Like of the big ones. Yeah, I, I love this one like I truly do. He's not sealed because I wanted to keep him matte. And not shiny. I wanted it to be like a dry autumn day and not a wet autumn day. We have lots of wet autumn days in Germany. It's it's not fun. <laughs> well. And then I think came winter already. Oh, wait. Look at this tiny one. Oh my god, wait. Wait a second. He's very dusty. Okay, I'm not entirely sure where in the timeline he comes up. I think he's earlier than the rest, but he also looks like an autumn little guy, you know? Very cute, very adorable, and he's also signed, actually. But he's very dusty. But then came winter during that series. I may ah oh, no what no 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 oh no I forgot the best part. I forgot the best thing. The tiny screaming mushroom. I forgot the tiny screaming mushroom. 
how dare I? He's like a little champion or something. Oh, no, don't fall. He's very small. But he's also a keychain and I think he's so cute. Like, look at him. Look at his screaming face. He's in pain. He is suffering. And no one's listening to him. But anyway, now let's get going. This one looks, um, well, kind of suspicious. Um, <laughs> he's also very dusty. Oh, wow. The dust. But... He, he was supposed to, be, like, he was inspired by, like, typical Christmas decorations and um, cinnamon rolls. Um, he looks like he's covered in um, human, um, male human stuff. <clears throat> well, you know, it, it was supposed to be icing. And I think you can see that it's supposed to be icing, but, like, still. Like, his wings are also supposed to be made out of icing completely. Yeah. I love him anyway. He has no front legs, as you can see. He only has his wings. And, yeah, I like him anyway, but he looks a bit... He looks a bit sus, not gonna lie. And then the second... Oh, he's even dustier. What did they do? Yeah, I had them on the shelf for quite a while. But anyway. I hope you cannot see it that well on the video. Because like the dust is most of the time not coming off anymore because they weren't sealed. But... I love him so much because he has like this glittery horns like I just put glue on the horns and then dipped them in glitter and he has these shards which I made by using transparent clay and making these shards and then I baked them and squashed them into his bag to be like ice shards that are sticking up from his body and he's glittery and he's perfect yeah and I love him so much I think he was one of the last small I think he was the last small dragon I've made either it was this one or the very suspicious looking one yeah and then for the last part of that series, I've made a little springtime, what is that? Okay, a little spring decoration for like Easter and it's this egg basket with a little um, butterfly on top of it, like in the front with two colored eggs and that was the last one I did not continue with it I think school picked up or I'm not sure what happened honestly but I do still have a few things in here as you can see first of all are swords two small swords um, I've made them after like a print out, like, um, no, I printed it out, but um, a picture from the different weapons from the Percy Jackson series. And this is supposed to be a Riptide, of course, the sword is way too long, because this would be like a two-handed sword. Like, definitely not a one-handed sword. Same with um, this sword, and this is supposed to be Nico's. Yeah, they are way too long, like the proportions are way off, but I like them. I especially like the Nico ones, you can like maybe, maybe you can see the little scuff marks I've made along the edge. 
I'm not sure how visible they are, but they are there. And of course, um, prototypes. Like, this is obviously a prototype for Nika's sword. And, oh yes, I've made quite a few of these little little chickens. I've made many, many little chickens. But I gave them all away. So yeah, this is the last surviving one, I think. And I've also made quite a few cookies that I gave away. Yeah. I was also in the phase where I've tried to make key change, uh, key chains and failed. Oh, this is another really old one. It was the first chicken, actually. <laughs> this was the first chicken. Yeah, the others are just not finished. Like, there's a lot of... Like, this is a penguin. I don't know. Oh, here we have... Another tree stem. He's probably going along with this one. <laughs> then a random ro rose, rose, <laughs> a flower, I guess, on um, a metal wire. And the creepiest part of it all are the faces. Um, <laughs> I I'm just gonna show them to you all at once because they're kind of creepy. I've tried to make faces and I failed every single time. It's hilarious. Look at that. <laughs> Look at them. Because I made a sand tower. I made a really, really big sand tower and I just needed a face for it and I could not figure out how to make faces. I think this is the best face out of all of them. And it does not have a mouth. In the end I did not give my sand tower a mouth but these are just, they make nice sounds. Like, yeah, they make pretty nice sounds. But they are terrifying. <laughs> and this is a flower with something else stuck to it. Like, okay, this is just a random daisy, I guess. And these I had to put clay on top to form it into something. I, I used it for something. I cannot remember what I used it for, but it was like the base layer. And these ones are little horns that I did not end up using on a sculpture, a bigger one. And well, whatever this is. I don't even know. I, I also I, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. And a random unicorn horn because of course you need a random unicorn horn. Everyone needs a random unicorn horn. And yeah, that's it actually. Um. These are all of my finished little projects here. I love them a lot. And I just wanted to show somebody something I did. I have not shown stuff I did for a long time. Although, let's say, I don't know anyone who would appreciate it. Maybe some people appreciate it, I don't know. Uh, this just goes to show you that not everything is perfect, but I like them all the same anyway. And if you're just like starting out with making little um, sculptures, like little figurines out of polymer clay or some stuff, then if you fail, you fail. If it looks good to you, then it does look good. It's really just a trial and error. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe somebody needed to hear this. Um, not everything is going to be perfect and it definitely does not need to be. Um, making lots of little projects can also help you with like precision, um, 
position. Well, you know, making details and stuff. Uh, which is pretty helpful, even in big scale projects. Because even if the scale is bigger, there's still lots of little details that need to be made. And yeah, I hope you liked it. I hope I can make more sculptures again in the future. It currently doesn't look like it, but I'm sure I'll find the time for it eventually again. Yeah. I hope maybe you were able to relax a bit. And I wish you a good night. Or a good day. If this is how you start your day. I don't know. But I hope to see you again sometime soon. Bye.